What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Palkia in Regulation G. Now this Palkia team is very off meta and it is like no other. You have Pokemon like Quillfish and Salazzle using some crazy combos to help get Palkia set up. Starting off with Quillfish, this Pokemon is going to be a typical lead of ours next to Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl can set the screens, it can also parking shot pivot out into a Palkia, while Quillfish sets up Minimize. Minimize is going to raise our evasiveness, making this Pokemon dodge a bunch of moves. Once we pivot Grimmsnarl after screens into Palkia, Palkia can then use Psych Up to copy Quillfish's evasiveness raises, making Palkia dodge a bunch of moves. On top of that, Palkia is hitting hard with Spatial Rent and Hydro Pump, so while it's dodging moves, it's doing big time damage and taking out teams. So that right there is the main combo for this team. But furthermore, like I mentioned, we have Salazzle. Salazzle over here, great for Dragon Cheering. You can Dragon Cheer into Palkia, making Spatial Run crit 100% of the time. We love it. This move is already strong enough. Add a guaranteed crit to it, it's going to be broken. Our final two Pokemon on today's team are going to be Cresselia and Amoongus. Two very strong Pokemon within Trick Room. Priscilla can also heal up HP of allied Pokemon with Lunar Blessing, and Amoongus obviously can put Pokemon to sleep with Spore. Guys, want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this weird Palkia team in Regulation G. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we are going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Yan. Thank you so much for sending this team over to me on Twitter or X, whatever you guys want to call it. I still call it Twitter, but if you guys want to send me teams, link is down in the description below. But we're going to go into Quillfish alongside with Grimmsnarl here. I actually really like both these guys. We can set up screens. We can get Quillfish with the Minimize going. And I kind of like that, right? I definitely do like that. It does have the Evo Light too. Which is awesome. So both of them are going to be a solid lead for us. We're going to bring Palkia in the back end. And then last but not least, we're going to go into Salazzle. Yeah, I do like Salazzle. So that's going to be my play. Salazzle coming in the back end. We potentially drag and cheer with it and pretty much get rid of it. But we're looking to set up some minimizes. So I wonder who they're going to lead. I do wonder who they're going to lead. But I do like our lead. I do like our lead considering we do intimidate right off the rip. So any physical attackers will drop. And chances are to lead special attackers such as like Shadow Rider Counter-X. Wimscott. Wimscott Chiyu. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad. I do set up a light screen here early on here, and I could honestly just protect Quillfish, or I could just start going for Minimizes. I think Minimize might be our best bet. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a Minimize here, and honestly, I wish I had... What's it called? Actually, I could go Water Terra. I could go Water Terra right here, because Heat Wave might be the play for him. Let's be honest, let's go Water Terror and just set up these Minimizes no problem. So we'll go Light Screen, we'll go Minimize with the Water Terror, because if I had to guess, Heat Wave's probably the play. So I'm going to have to start soaking up these Heat Waves no problem. Especially the first one or two until we get Minimize set up. So I'm going to go straight into this. They could maybe go for like Fake Tears if they do have it. But hopefully they're setting up with like a Tailwind or something. So Light Screen popping out here, no problem. Get that Light Screen out and about. And he goes, he's just going to go for a Moon Blast here and he comes around. Which is fine. I don't mind if you take out my Grimstone. And you're going to go for an Overheat. So this Water Terror, actually massive. We're able to soak. That thing's special attacks drop. And Minimize is flying freely. It's flying freely now. Big time Minimizes. We're going to go for yet another one here. And I am just going to go into a Spirit Break into the slot. Just so I can drop this thing's special attack a little bit. I'm all about it. So Overheat going crazy. Good Terror from us. And they just... No! They cancel Battle?! That's crazy. We were about to set it up, and they just canceled the battle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first opponent was not having it. Once we set up the minimize, he's like, nah, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. We still were trying to set up even more minimizes on him, but hey, we're trying it again here in match number two. We are going up against a regulation F team. No regulation G Pokemon. So hopefully we get to pull this off here. I'm going to go Quillfish. I'm going to go Grimstone, and I'm going to hope that they do not lead Defiant annihilate because that could be a little bit of a problem it could definitely be a little bit of a problem we would love to just set up these minimizes get after it and then have palkia come in the back end that is going to be perfect um i got crest salazzle and amoongus as our final pokemon now do i go salazzle here or do i go in with amoongus and just say that palkia can pretty much just sweep this match options 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 i'm gonna go salazzle here salazzle has a little bit of attack power plus i can always drag and cheer later in the match 
let's try to set this up. I feel like in that last match, we were on the road to setting it up. And our opponent was just like, nah, I'm not even going to give you the satisfaction. So let's do it here. Let's do it here. Hopefully no Annihilate bleed. It could be final game, but Annihilate could be a little bit of a problem because then they're going to lead it. We just don't want that happening. We just want them to lead like physical attackers such as like Rillaboom or something like that, right? Because then they could just fake out Palkia. Let's see, Volcarona and Rillaboom. Okay, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Um, I don't mind this one bit. I don't mind this one bit. So from here, um, I get off Intimidate, so I'd rather set up a late screen. And we're going to go for Minimize here. Actually, I might just want to protect my Quillfish. But I'd rather just actually just start going for Minimizes. So I'm going to go for Minimize here. I am going to go for a Light Screen rather than a Reflect. And the reason I say that is because Rillaboom's already minus one on Physical Attack. And he's just going to fake out Grimstrong. So that's no big deal here. Can you outspeed Quillfish? I doubt you do, but I would love for you to. And you're going to go for Quiver Dance. Okay. Rather annoying. So Quiver Dance pops out here. And we'll get the Minimize going. Okay. The Quiver Dancing. Dancing with the Quivers. Minimize flying. I'm not playing around. So we get the minimize out here. We're looking just to dodge attacks. Just to dodge attacks. And we're going to go for another minimize. So minimize is going to pop out here as well. We're going to go for a light screen. Set up the light screen into the Volcar in his face. He might start attacking. But hopefully we can start dodging attacks. I would love to just set up both screens and then just pivot out with parting shot. Which would be nice for me. So I'll set up the light screen here. He's going to go for a heat wave. Cool fish, you're dodging, right? Rainbow Snarl's dodging. What is going on here? A little annoying, high horsepower. Gonna try to go into the Quillfish. And Quillfish is dodging. That's big time plays. So we minimize up again. We love it. Plus four. We're gonna do it again. And you gave me the terrain, so I get back HP. I'm gonna try to do this again, and I'm gonna set up a reflect this time. Just in case that high horsepower does end up landing, we're able to just neutralize a lot of that. So minimize again. <laughs> Trying to set this up. Then we have to get Palkia out there. So reflect out and about again. We love it. All right. So we got both screens. Heat wave flying through here. Quillfish, you're dodging. You are dodging. Grimstrong, you're dodging? Woo! Double dodge. Woodhammer flying through here. I don't care if you KO him now, but I doubt you do. Cool, you're going to take some recoil damage. And from here, we minimize up again. Okay. So from here, we can now parting shot. And we can acupuncture. Not going to lie, we could acupuncture Palkia here. Just for stat boost. I mean, what else can we do here? We got pain split. You might just want to go for a pain split in case they actually end up picking up some damage. And that is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go parting shot right into Volcarona. So I'm out of here. So I'm doing that. I'm going to bring out Palkia. I am a little scared of like a wood hammer. Maybe I should have went into Rillaboom here. Maybe I should have went into Rillaboom here. But I am going to go straight into Palkia. I am going to go straight into Palkia. Palkia has very few weaknesses, which is good for him. Very few. Pressure's gonna come out here. Um, let's see what they end up doing here. Quiver Dance again. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Can you go after Quillfish with a high horsepower? Please and thank you. No more wood hammers allowed. They are gonna go for another wood hammer. We do have Reflect. We have all the good stuff out here. Cool. He's gonna take some recoil damage. So there's that. Pain Split gonna come out here. Do like five damage, but that was just in case they want to attack Quillfish. It was just in case they want to attack Quillfish. All right, so I get back some HP here. Um, I'm hoping Palkia can outspeed because I would love to just get off this uh, this psych up and get that get that minimized boost as soon as possible. 128. You might not outspeed the that Quiver Dance Pokemon. But to be honest, I'd rather go for Accu Pressure, get that plus two. And do I Terrasize in the Fairy? Probably not. We shouldn't go into the psychic pack, and we're gonna act pressure here. He ends up with all roll boots, so that's not bad for me. You know what's bad? We have a light screen out. We are pretty bulky on special defense. So they're gonna bring out Grimstone here. So Grimstone flies out here. He's gonna go for Giga Drain. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. I do not mind that because we're able to psych up now. Plus six on evasiveness. We get terrain out here as well. And furthermore, we get the Aki pressure and get plus two on a stat. A random stat. Defense. Beautiful. We'll take defense. I was going to say, I want to either special defense or defense. So now we're sitting here in a decent spot. Um, we're just going to keep Aki pressuring him. And I guess I'll just throw a Hydro Pump into this slot and look to just finish this off. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because we want to look to get rid of Volcarona here. They're going to Terrasalize here. So we're going to see a big time Terra. 
into probably Volcarona at this point. Yeah, and what typing are you going to go into? Maybe I should just run for special one. We're going to go into water. Solid typing. We are plus six on minimize, so we're looking just to dodge moves here. They could be setting up screens with Grimstarl, but this thing's kind of boosted as well. The light screen comes out and about. Alright, maybe we just want to start going for spatial rents for crits. He's going to go for more quiver dances. This thing's looking just to bulk. He's looking just to bulk up. Quiver dance looking scary. Quiver dance looking scary. So spatial rent does have a crit chance boost. Hydro pump going to fly here. We're hoping we're going to get a special defense boost here. I really want it. I really want it. What are we going to get? Special defense. Lovely. Lovely. That's huge. So we're gonna go for another Aki pressure, and I guess we'll go for Spatial Ren. Has a chance of critting, <clears throat> and we're gonna throw it right into the bulk run slot. So he's gonna go for Giga Drain. We're soaking pretty well here. Um, could go for Spirit Breaks and just start lowering my special attack. That is an option. Spatial Ren, give me a crit. Give me a crit. No crit. All right, we're gonna have to swap this Lazzle here. We're gonna have to swap this Lazzle, but I'm surprised I'm not dodging moves. What's our boost here? Another defense boost. Spirit Break gonna fly through it. Yeah, we definitely need Slazzle up here. Wow, that actually did some damage. That are my special attack. Alright, we need Slazzle up in here right now. So we're gonna swap it to Slazzle here. We're just gonna protect the Palkia. And we'll go from there. And we shall go from there. I'm surprised I'm not dodging these moves. I have Minimize. I'm plus six on Minimize. I'm plus six over here, and I'm actually not dodging any moves, which is very upsetting. Very upsetting. I'm plus two on special defense. I'm plus four on defense. Minus one on special attack now, though. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping we can just drag and cheer this bad boy up and get cooking. The Salazzle comes out onto the field. We're just going to protect the Palkia as it's lowering down on HP. And Giga Drain's going to fly here, and we're blocking. And I think they're going to double down the Palkia here. I think we are going to see a double down. So we're hoping we can dodge some moves next turn, get this Dragon Cheer off, and then just take out this Volcarona. That's really the play here. Because what's your speed? You should be faster than him. Please tell me you're faster than Palkia. You are. Okay, cool. You're very fast. So now we're going to go for Dragon Cheer. We're going to go for Spatial Run, and we are just going to look to dump on Volcarona. That's the play here. That is the play. So Palkia, a little lower on the HP side here. More than I like. It's taking a bit too many hits. But can we dodge some moves? There we go. Now we're out here dodging. Now we're out here dodging. Now we're out here dodging, baby. Come on. So Dragon Cheer out here. We're boosting our crit ratio. Palkia, can you start just slapping on some Pokemon? Spatial Ren for the crit. Bang, bang. See you later. All right, cool. The Volcarona gone. Volcarona gone. I would love to get rid of this Grimstone now, too. I kind of want them to bring out Robum because I would love to get back some HP. He goes for a Spirit Break. We're dodging. Everything's working out. Light Screen's gone, though. A little upset by that. A little upset by that. Do we go into... Uh, I think we do go into... What's it called here, though? I think we hard swap Salazzle. And we protect Palkia. And then we go into Grimstarl again. Right? We still have our Grimstarl. Yeah, because we parting shot it. We parting shot it. We said, hey, yo, we're out of here. So I'd rather go in the grip Grimstarl and set up screens again while Palkia's sitting here on the field. Plus six on a base. So Rillaboom comes back out here. We love that. We get HP back. You are giving me HP. You are giving me HP. We love this. <laughs> we love this. We love this. So again, yes, yeah, swap Salazzle. We could Intimidate. Intimidate would actually be beautiful. But I'd rather get off screens here. The screens are just so helpful. Maybe I'll eventually swap back into him, but I'm going to do that. I'm just going to protect Palkia, get HP back from its rain, and we'll go from there. So Palkia is working fine here. It's doing great. Grimson all comes out here. Grim, Grim, and protect flying. Go ahead. Go after my Palkia, please and thank you. Fake out. We went to that slot. That's no big deal. We should be able to soak up whatever they have to offer. He goes for Spirit Break into the Palkia slot. Cool. So now we can set up a Reflect, and I can just Parting Shot out of here. Um, and who do I try to KO? Rillaboom? I think we might just want to get rid of Rillaboom. So we'll put the Reflect back out in about, um... We go for Hydro Pump. I could Thrash Slice into Fairy. Um, would that help me out, Fairy Terra? Who would I rather KO here? I think we just dump on this roll boom. 
Gripstone is kind of annoying, but I'm just going to dump on Rollaboom here. Mm, no, I'm going to go after Grimstarl. We get that Reflect out. Maybe I should have Terrastalize. Let's see how this one plays out here. Hydro Pump. Can we get the crit? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Dragon Cheer crit. We get rid of Grimstarl. What are you going for, Rollaboom here? You're going to go for Woodhammer into Grimstarl slot. We'd love it. You could take out my Grimstarl all day. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's over with. It's over. The Grimstarl did its job. You're going to take some recoil damage. We're not gonna, going to intimidate this Rollaboom. We are <laughs> killing it on Palkia right now. I could go into Slazzle, but I'd rather save Slazzle. I'd rather intimidate right here. So we're going to intimidate the Rollaboom, making it minus one with Reflect out here. My Palkia, let's not forget, the thing is plus four on defense. They are going to bring in Annihilate, which is kind of annoying. Annihilate can do some damage, especially now that the Fine is going to boost it plus one. But I still feel as we can just take this thing out. So I'm just going to go for an Acupressure, I guess, into this thing. And just Spatial Rend, right? But look at this thing's stats. Look at that. Defense plus four. Special Defense plus two. Evasiveness six. Absurd. So we're going to go after Annihilate here with Spatial Rend. And they finally canceled the match. So Palkia going crazy in match number two. So guys, the first match, they didn't let us pull off the combo, but the second match, we would not be denied there. Quillfish, Palkia, Salazzle, all forming together to create this monster beast of a Palkia. Basiness was plus six, defense was plus four, we had Dragon Cheer on that thing, we got some special defense boost up in there, and Palkia was just critting left and right, dodging every move that was thrown at it, it was absolutely amazing. Amazing. But I don't want to do the same thing here in match number three. So I'm honestly just going to lead Salazzle and Palkia. I think that's going to be a solid lead for us. They could lead Iron Hands. Iron Hands looking rather annoying, but I feel like we could deal with that. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to just try to protect this Palkia. To be honest, actually, I could set up screens here, turn one. I think screens might be our best bet. I do like screens. So I'm going to go screens here. I am going to bring Palkia in here and look to just like do some damage. And then honestly, let's just go Salazzle and Amoongus or Salazzle and Cress. I kind of like Cress here. So I'm going to go Cress. I'm going to go Cress. The only problem with this team is it's very gimmicky. So it's like all I really have to attack here is Palkia. Palkia is my main source of damage. Everybody else is not doing anything. Amoongus, no damage. Cresselia, no damage. Overquill, no damage. Who else do we have? Slazzle, a little bit of damage. I'll give it to Slazzle. Got that flamethrower on it. But again, it's just mainly just Palkia. Grimstarl, really no damage. So we're going to pressure here. And he's going to airlock. So all weather effects are disappearing. So these guys are physical attackers. So Reflect going to have to come out here right away. And I might just protect Palkia. I could Terra Fairy, which actually wouldn't be bad. Just spatial around here. You're going for a dragon move into me. I'm not gonna like that one bit. Facial rent does some damage though. Yeah, we're just gonna attack. We're just gonna attack straight up. With a nice little fairy terror, just in case they want to go for dragon moves into me, right? Two dragon type Pokemon. Might as well go fairy here. Might as well go fairy. So we get the fairy type cooking. I don't think they're terrestrialized because Palkia, I believe, is slower than both of them. So that works fine. So reflect out and about. It's beautiful. We now have two fairy types on the field. So no dragon moves are allowed. It's going to go for a dragon cheer. Yo, not cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. That's my thing. That's my thing. That's my thing. And we're out speeding you. We're out speeding you. Rayquaza going. It's going. It's going. Get it on out of here. That's huge. That's huge. Now I kind of, I'm kind of annoyed that we did terrestrialize here. Surprised we did outspeed that, but I'm kind of annoyed that we did Terrasalize. Actually, I mean, Fluttermane's coming out onto the field, and I am so parting shotting into that. After I Light Screen, protect, obviously. Light Screen, protect here, and then we'll parting shot into Salazzle. We'll try to pull off a, uh, what is it called? A Dragon Cheer, just like they did. And then we'll get after it even more. The Palkia Spatial Rank going nuclear. Going nuclear. So we'll see a Terra pop out here from their Fluttermane. I will be able to get off this light screen, which is pretty solid for us. Um, we have Salazzle, and we have Cress in the back end, right? Yeah, I like Cress. I got Combine and also Psych Up Combine, too. A lot of different options with this team for Palkia to get set up. 
But I end, up, I end up just protecting this Pokemon here. I'm gonna go for the light screen now. Now that I have both screens up, I am feeling a bit more secure. So Flare Blitz is gonna come across here into the Palkia slot. We block that. And Fluttermane probably going for Dazzling. Yep, Dazzling Gleam. Which I block and you should soak up here. You should soak up. Let's be honest. You should soak up. So now they're probably going to stick, uh, just double down into me here. And this is where I go for Parting Shot and I just go for a Space for Rent to try to maybe KO you. And kind of go from there. So Parting Shot gonna fly out here, make you minus one. Do I dare bring out the Slazzle? I think we, I think we should bring out the Slazzle. Actually, I don't know, man. Do I just bring out Crest instead and save the Slazzle? What is my play? And I do have Sash. You are minus one. You should outspeed most, to be honest. Actually, probably not. I think the thing is boost your energy speed as well. Let's see how this one plays. You're going to go for a Flare, but it's into Slazzle? That's fine. Slazzle soaks pretty well, but Dazzle not looking good. Not looking good for us. Another Dazzle Gleam gonna fly here. Slazzle might die out there. Even though you're minus one on light screen, you are turned. And actually, I lied. Your Slazzle soaked that no problem. Not very effective, too. Spatial Ren was a bye bye to you. Now we get an AFP. Now we get an AFP. So I could still Dragon Cheer into my Palkia. But the problem here is with Palkia is it's not Dragon anymore. So it's not gonna get that crazy boost. But honestly, I like where we're sitting here. We have light screen out here. They cannot swap Flutter Mane. It's minus one. I think we just... Oh, we can't fake out. I was going to say, I think we just get after it. Maybe we taunt Frogarath. Stop it from going for Helping Hands. Honestly, that's going to be my play. She's going to taunt Frogarath. And they just cancel battles. So Palkia thriving out here in match number three. And honestly, just having a great set of battles. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The craziest Palkia setup that you guys are gonna see in Regulation G. This team was absolutely amazing. I'm super surprised we went 3-0 with it. The first match wasn't really a match at all. Kind of just set up Quill Fish and our opponent was like, I'm out of here. Second match, we did the combo perfectly. Got the Quill Fish to minimize up. Got the Palkia to psych up. Then got Salazzle in there. Dragon cheered to Palkia. Then nobody was touching Palkia and it was critting left and right. Third and final match, we actually did not use the Quill Fish. We went a different route. We went in with Grimmsnarl, Palkia was killing with Spatial Rend, and then eventually we got out Salazzle, and the match was looking really good for us at that point because we had Light Screen, we had Reflect Out, we were going up against two special attackers, and on top of that, Fluttermane was minus one on special attack, so everything was looking perfect for us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.